Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I will show you how to customize the Symfony Maker Bundle. So the Maker Bundle, the Maker, is a powerful tool that helps us to create uh, many common things very fast. Controller, entities, repository, registration form, uh, events, many things like that. But uh, sometimes you want to add custom information and there is not built-in way. I looked in documentation and I looked in issue and I don't find any way to do that. So what are we doing in this video? I will show you a way to do that. If you have a better way, feel free to, to reach me. So create a Symfony 5 project, so run uh, Symfony new, your project, uh, double dash full. Okay, something like that, I'll show you. And then in my case, I want to add information for my API resource. So download the API platform, so run Composer require API, and then you're done. So now we are looking how to do this, how to add information. Suppose I want to add uh, sterilization groups any times I create an API resource. So ugliest way, the baddest way is going to uh, the template itself inside the vendor. So it's uh, in Symfony, make a bundle, make a bundle, SRC, resources, and skeleton, boom, 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 doctrine, entity. Now here we can add information. So if you are doing this, suppose I want to just name up, up, up. And now if I'm looking for my new entity, uh, come on, come on, wake up, dude. Okay, the information I did in the code base, in the template inside the vendor are added here. Okay, that's good. It's wrong, it was good because I have information, but it's not the good solution. It's wrong, it's the wrong solution, why? Because when I want to, the time when I will update my, uh, my maker bundle, the, the, the library, every stuff will be deleted by Composer. All the file here will be regenerated and everything will be deleted. So what I will doing, so I just remove this stuff, I don't need them now. I will create here a simple directory called custom maker we call it custom maker okay and then here i will copy past the template the same thing the same template and i will keep the same the same uh, path okay so just copy path okay here up new file remove the src here okay and copy past all stuff here and put in your custom template now you can add any information here and if i want I want to add a new information like a filter. I want uh, all of my uh, API resources should have this kind of filter. So same thing, copy pass from documentation, go in your template, okay, so, and add them, suppose we add them here, okay. Of course, don't forget the use, or it will, it will throw an error. Uh, use here, okay, and Add this stuff only if it's an API resource. We have the check here, the statement. Okay, and now the syntax error here, boom, boom. Okay, so now we have our template, okay? And here we can add any information that you want, but it's not enough. If I do this, and I add my information, uh, name, up, up and check the result, boom, boom, boom. So here I get information, why? Because they are not deleted from the original template. So I will delete from the original template just to show you that it, it's working, okay? I will, will try again, so remove, repository, remove, so recreate, and the original template now is uh, empty, you know, I don't have any new stuff here, okay? So if I check it, the entity, come on, come on, come on, come on, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now it's like, how does the maker bundle work without any custom information? Now my, uh, my job is to tell to uh, my application, when I run this command, don't take uh, the original template, but take the custom one here. Okay. So, Remove this stuff, we don't need, and just copy past the template, the class that is responsible to generate template, and it's this one. So copy past, 
this one, and in the custom maker, create a generator class, generator, okay, pump. The most important thing here is to keep the same namespace. And now we are just going to composer and add the namespace, the new namespace. So the namespace is here, okay. Copy past and add to composer here and tell him now when you are looking for this namespace, go in this directory, custom maker. Okay. Okay, it's good. Custom maker. Bam. Now run the dump autoload to regenerate the namespace and the, 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 the PSR for not only the world, but just this this one. Okay, this big array responsible to find the good class and to map the good namespace and the good file. So dump auto load, boom, boom, boom. And now empty prefix makes separator. We have this in hero here. What's wrong? Custom Symphony Builder Maker Bundle. What's wrong here? Mm. Ah, okay, I got it. Bam. Okay. Should be better, long guy. Okay, good. So now if you're looking here, the maker bundle now go in custom maker first and then it's going on the original library, okay? The original package, okay? So the line that will be override here, the logic, and we don't have any choice here, it's just this line, okay? So now it will be going to the template pass will be um, this one for any template. Now, if we are creating a controller, it will go in, in the, this path, this resources directory and tell us, hey, I don't found uh, the controller template or anything like that. So what we have to do, it's to give him the first try to get the template from this directory. And if you don't get it, don't throw an exception. Try again to find in the original directory and the original directory is inside the vendor, okay? So I prepare this constant here, boom, okay? This is the original path and we are going to, to the application. If you don't find the template in this directory in here, go in the original path, okay? Now we can create our, or we can use our custom template and keep the original template like controller or anything like that, okay? So go when join it class, if file exists, don't first try to get the file from here. And if you don't get it, the template path will be equal to something dear. And then go back bam, and self up original path and template name. Okay. Now it should work. I think so. We'll try. So now we create a, a full entity. So the hero is here. Okay. Okay. It say, hey, I can find the template in this directory. That's normal, but it doesn't exist. We have a, I forget, slash here. Here, sorry. So I'll try it again. Um, Oh, could not find template. Cannot find template. Why? Mm. Ah, okay. I have, okay. Oof, stupid error. Now it's good. Now it will be good. So name, boom, boom, boom. So if I'm looking for my new entity, I will find my stuff that I added in the template. Parang. Okay. So what's, uh, uh, so no, uh, another use case, I want to add information, but how to pass variable or dynamic content here. Same thing, you have to get the class that is responsible to pass a variable. And it's in doctrine and it's entity class generator. So you have to keep the same path, okay? So here it's inside doctrine. So create here a, repo a directory doctrine, okay, doctrine doctrine and then create your class so the class is uh, entity class generator boom so you create it here boom boom okay 
can add to. So now if you want to pass any custom information, it's here in doctrine entity template dot php. Uh, suppose you want to pass um, a variable, maybe, I don't know, maybe um, from custom, okay? Yeah, okay. Here it's the key, but we are looking at the template and here it's the variable. So here you can create from underscore custom and pass the variable, but you just created here. And now in the template, you can retrieve this variable. Okay, up. Uh, from custom, it's a variable. So remove foo for repository. And try again, foo API resource. Ta so we have a syntax error because we add this stuff PHP in the file, this variable, and it's throwing an error. It's totally logic. If you are looking at the result, you have yeah here, okay? But throwing syntax error. But now you see how to pass variable. And in my case, I just overwrite the entity template and the entity class generator, okay? If you want to do the same thing with a controller, with registration form or anything like that, the logic it's the same, it's the same logic. Go in the uh, original directory, okay? Copy paste with the content that you want to override and add your custom information. Don't forget to uh, move the template or anything like this. And now you can use your custom API resource maker and keep the original uh, maker bundle functionality. If I want to create a controller, I should not have any problem. Just for try, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, if I'm looking for my controller, boom, 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 wake up, dude, everything is right. So what did we do to add custom information? We move the entity template, we create a new one in custom maker and keep custom maker directory and keep the same uh, path, okay? It's very important. Then we move the generator.php, the class responsible to generate the file, to take the entity template and generate the file. And then we told to Composer, hey guy, we have a new namespace and it's Symfony bundle, make a bundle, and first looking in my directory. If you don't find the class that is called by uh, the, the application in this directory, go in the original directory, that is vendor, Symfony, make a bundle, SRC, etc. And if you want to override the logic and pass new variable, same thing, copy paste the class responsible to pass variable. For entities, it's the entity class generator.php. Move it. Don't forget to keep the same namespace, the same class's name. And please keep this stuff. It's very important. Okay. And add your custom information. Um, if I did this thing, all of this stuff, it's because I didn't find built-in way to do that. And I went, when I was looking for issue in Symfony, I saw Ryan was not um, enjoyed by add a new variable um, and let people uh, customize template or anything like that, because all this stuff is very complicated to maintain. Thanks for seeing, thanks for following, uh, like it, and any comment I appreciate. And sorry for my English, it's the first time I record a video in English, but I, I had to, to, to learn it and to practice it. Thanks, goodbye.